Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Rhythma and today I'm going to be doing the mid-year freakout tag. Um, this year has been super weird. I don't think I need to tell you what kind of year it's been, but at least in one regard, I've kind of been thriving and that's of course reading. So much so that I've deci I decided to start this booktube channel. I saw Lena Norms do this video and I thought it was a really great sort of introduction to who I am and my reading habits. And yeah, I'm really excited to be filming this video. Thank you so much for being here. So the best book I've read this year, at least so far, has been Haruki Murakami's What I Talk About When I Talk About Running. And don't be alarmed by the running aspect of this book. I think even if you don't run, I think this book has a lot of great advice, especially on writing. So Haruki Murakami is really famous for his other novels like Kafka on the Shore, IQ84, um, Norwegian Wood, which I read and loved a couple of years ago. And he's a fantastic writer and he dishes a lot of writing advice. So if you're a writer, I would highly recommend this book to you. But yeah, it's basically just a memoir about how running intersects with basically all other aspects of his life and how it influences his work and writing. Reading this book just felt like you were sitting around a campfire and like listening to this person dole out wisdom and his philosophy on in life is super interesting to read about and he's kind of a very stoic person which I thought was really interesting to read about. So, so yeah, if you're in quarantine right now and you're getting a little unmotivated and you need something to sort of get you excited about life. This is like a literary self-help book that I think you'll really enjoy. So yeah, um, I'm really excited to read more Haruki Murakami in general too. The best sequel I read this year so far has been the Tawny Man trilogy by Robin, by Robin Hogg. Uh, the Tawny Man trilogy is the sequel trilogy to the, to the Farseer trilogy and whereas Farseer was kind of a coming of age for the main character Fitz, um, the Tawny Man trilogy deals with more, deals with themes of like parenthood and responsibility and love in like a more mature way. And when I say mature, I mean that in all the best ways of the word. Um, Robin Hobb is such a fantastic character writer. She's second to none in the fantasy genre and she's so good at crafting these relationships that are so complex and delicate and they feel so real and they're just so compelling and I love reading Robin Hobb for that reason. So a new release I haven't read this year and I really really want to is Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reid. So I first saw, I first heard of this book on the Poptimist channel where he reviewed it which I'll leave that link in the description down below because he does such a good job of selling the book but I just haven't gotten around to buying it and reading it but I definitely will be doing that soon. My most anticipated release for the second half of the year is definitely the last installment of the Poppy War trilogy. I read the first book, The Poppy War, um, earlier this year and I absolutely loved it. It almost feels like historical fiction. Um, the author I think has like a master's in Chinese history and you can really tell from the quality of the setting and it seems like the protagonist's arc is kind of shaping up to be a subversion of like the classical hero's journey which I'm really excited for so I'm just holding out for the third book to come out so I can read the second and third books back to back and really just enjoy the series. I really prefer to read series through and through um, if I can. I just think that's the best way especially in fantasy because over time you tend to forget details and fantasy is such a detail-oriented genre that reading all the books together is kind of like the best experience. My biggest reading disappointment this year is a little ironic considering how much I was praising Robin Hobb earlier on in this video, but I was really disappointed by The Rainwald Chronicles by Robin Hobb. So this series isn't terrible by any means. It's about a bunch of dragons and dragon keepers and it's kind of about this journey to find this mystical city that may or may not exist and on paper it's super interesting and compared to a lot of other fantasy I would say it's better but compared to her own work it doesn't quite meet 
it doesn't quite reach the sheer brilliance in characters that Robin Hobb is capable of and yeah I think the fact that I love Robin Hobb so much is part of the reason why I found the series so disappointing because I know she's capable of so much better but the series just the characters just didn't feel as realized and as compelling as her previous work to me at least and so yeah I think that if this series had been a trilogy instead of four books it would have been a lot better because there was just way too much fluff and stuff that could have been cut out and so yeah my newest fictional crush is Connell from normal people from normal people um, and I know I'm not alone in this um, I read normal people and I watched the TV show like right at the beginning of quarantine which is like the worst time to read a book about romance when you're cooped up at home and cannot meet anyone new and can't go outside but <laughs> but overall my thoughts in the book were that it was pretty good for like a couple weeks after I read it, I was really obsessed with it. After we've had some distance, I mean, I think it's definitely still a good book, but I don't think it was as groundbreaking or earth shattering as I thought it was when I first read it. It was a really simple, humble story. But Connell specifically, I loved his character because he's such an empathetic character. And as an extension of that empathy, he cares a lot about what other people think of him, which I mean, I'm sure everyone can sort of resonate with that. And obviously in the show, he's really good looking, so empathy and good looks are just such a killer combo. And if he loves reading, what more could you want from a man? I'm combining two questions for this one, and a book that made me cry, a book that made me sad, and a book that made me happy. I'm gonna say I reread the Wheel of Time series earlier this year, and I just love those series. They're so important to me. They were such an important aspect of my childhood and rereading them, especially The Gathering Storm and A Memory of Light made me cry so hard because I love Rand. He's such an essentially good person. I mentioned the hero's journey earlier on and yeah, the hero's journey is totally a cliche, but it's such a good cliche. And when it's done well, it's so compelling and you, Rand is just my favorite, one of my favorite characters of all time. And yeah, reading The Wheel of Time always makes me really happy and really sad at the same time. Even though it's 14 books long, I'm still sad whenever I read the ending of it, so. A beautiful book I bought this year, I actually have two. The first one is My Year of Rest and Relaxation by Otessa Moshfeg, and I'm just obsessed with this painting of this woman. The dress she's wearing is like super beautiful, like, wow, the fashion. The dress she's wearing is so beautiful, and the hot pink is just such a, such a vibe. And I really love this book. I'm going to be talking about it in another video it's coming up soon, but this book was about basically this woman who She's been through a number of traumatic events, including both of her parents dying, and she basically decides that she needs to take an entire year of her life and just sleep. And it's kind of a really weird, absurd book, but I really enjoyed it. It's set in New York, and I have this thing for weird books set in New York where I just really love them. But yeah, this hot pink just really sold me on this book. And then the second book was Brandon Sanderson's The Way of Kings. Like this, like this primary color scheme, I just really dig it. The red, white, the red, yellow, and blue is very kindergarten, but make it fantasy. And yeah, the 10th anniversary of this book recently passed, which sort of kicked me in the pants. And I was like, I've literally been putting off reading this book for 10 years now. So hopefully I can get to this book eventually. I really want to read this and the next two books in the Stormlight Archive because I know the fourth one is coming out this year. So hopefully by the time the fourth one has come out, I will have read the first three books and I'll be all caught up with the Stormlight Archive. But yeah, um, those are all the questions I'm going to do today um, because I feel like it's getting kind of long at this point. But yes thank you so much for watching i'm still a little new to youtube and i'm not the best at talking to the camera yet but yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one